In this video, I'll be giving you a breakdown on the projects I've worked on in the past and how I go about pricing them. This video will serve as a guide for all 3D artists. We're stepping into the first project I ever did for a client and I got paid zero dollars. The reason is because I asked to get paid zero dollars. What do I mean? Well, I hit a YouTuber named 1000 asking if I was able to work for free. This is because I wanted to build my portfolio as I was a beginner and had nothing to show for myself. So I've seen a lot of 3D artists fail because they always cut straight to the point and ask for a large sum of money. You need to work for free initially, build your portfolio and then once you've built your portfolio you can ask for large sums of money. With this project initially, although I got paid zero dollars, he gave me a shout out and from that I got loads of clients hitting me up through Instagram. And the second project, what can I say about this one? Anyways, this project I got paid 30 or 40 dollars for a house and a snowman. Literally that was it, nothing else. And I got paid 30 or 40 dollars for it. And it was for a Roblox game developer. This Roblox game developer used it for his Roblox game. And yeah, I turned out pretty well, I would say. Not the best, I could definitely improve it now, looking back at it. But yeah, I got paid good money for that. And yeah, that leads me on to my next point. Roblox game developers, that's an untouched market. All 3D artists need to hit up like all the game developers because they, some pay like pretty good. So I'll definitely, definitely tap into that niche. And then yeah, just build yourself up from that and you can gain a port good portfolio. And lastly, my third project, which I got paid $100 for, and probably my most embarrassing project because I was definitely not proud of this, I definitely didn't post this on the socials, was tasked to make two planets, two planet renders uh, from like a reference image and this is what I came up with. It was a weird planet, weird kind of task I got given but apparently they liked it so they paid me $100, I gave them the render and the blender project file. But this goes to show anyone will buy anything anyone will buy it basically anyone will buy it if you make it to their preference i guess they will buy it no matter the price so yeah with this project i didn't price myself i asked them what is your budget for this project and they said 100 dollars usd it was some girl from russia or some person from russia that gave me this money and i was super excited i was like 16 at the time so this was my first bit of pocket money but yeah Moral of the story anyways, don't price your projects like I did, I just priced them randomly. You need to ask the clients for their budget, what is their budget for this project and you can work around that. Um, if you want more tips on how to price, uh, let me know in on Instagram and I'm going to give you a full mentorship. Anyways guys, that's it for the video, hope you liked it, subscribe, peace.